to show you how to customize your site using blocks and widgets provided by the Reseller Store plugin. So I've installed and activated the Reseller Store plugin and we are on the product list admin. Let's get started by taking a look at the blocks that are available with the plugin. I will go to pages and add new. And I am going to create a domain search page. The first block that I want to add is a domain search block. So go down to reseller store modules and choose domain search. Now let's preview the page. So I have a domain search and I can type in some keywords and then click search and easily add a domain to my cart. Let's go back to the domain search page and using the same block I can change the domain search to a domain transfer by coming over here to search type and choosing transfer domain and let's preview that. So now I have an option to transfer the domain and I can type in a domain to transfer and start the transfer process. Let's go back to the search block here. And the other option I have is an advanced domain search which is very similar to the standard domain search. It just allows the results to show up on the same page. So now if I type in also available is a product widget block. So I can go to Reseller Store Modules and choose Product. So in addition to doing domain search, I can also add products like WordPress or cPanel to my cart. So let's go ahead and choose cPanel Economy and Preview. So now in addition to domain search, I can add cPanel by clicking Add to Cart. So the next thing I will demo are widgets. So we'll go to storefront here and depending on your theme, we just add content and features to your sidebar, headers, and footers. Many popular builders also use widgets in pages and posts. So uh, let's go to the customizer and click on widgets. And I will start with the hero widget. So let's go to add. Now the reseller store plugin adds several different widgets including the advanced domain search that we just looked at, in addition a reseller cart link, reseller standard search, the domain transfer, and the reseller product and a reseller shopper login. So let's start with the reseller domain search. So in my hero I have a domain search here and I can give it a title so I can say In addition, I can add sidebar widgets. So let's go ahead and click Add Widget. And I can add the cart link as well as a shopper login. And let's publish and take a look at that. So now you will see I have four items in my cart as well as a sign in button down here. And by clicking the view cart button that will take me to my cart. We 
can also customize our menu by going to customizer and menus and then primary menu. Now when you install the inactivate the reseller plugin, all of the products are pre-assigned categories. And when products are imported into you, they're automatically grouped into those categories. And when adding a category to your menu, so I can go to add items, come down here to categories and see all of the different categories that have been imported. And I can add those categories to my menu such as hosting. And then I can also add under hosting WordPress, cPanel, I can have business, I can even change that name to say, let's say business hosting. I can do the same thing for a category like security and add SSL, the subcategory, and website security. So this is helpful to quickly build a menu for other products that might not be your main focus on your business or to act as a placeholder until you complete your product landing pages for all the different products. So we can click publish. And so I have a hosting menu and I can click on cPanel and see the cPanel products to add to the cart. For a website builder, I've built a complete product landing page using all the different widgets. Mm -hmm.